All right, like the start of every video in this house, I'm gonna apologize for the noise because there is still construction going on. If you live in Melbourne, you probably know the iconic Camberwell Market. It is on every single Sunday and anyone can hold a stall. I personally like to go for the stalls that are people my age selling their clothes and accessories and shoes. But there are also stalls that sell vintage records, antiques, plants. There's even people who are selling bunches of flowers. It really is the most wholesome way to spend your Sunday. And even though there are more expenses and more costs these days, I still want to look and feel great. Fashion is one of those things that is just worth spending the time and money investing in. But in store can get a bit pricey. Campbell Market is the perfect place for secondhand goods. It's like a thrift store but massive and outdoors and you can get things as cheap as two dollars. I'm going to show you all the pieces and also share the price I paid for them and also what I've managed to find online as to what the estimated retail price would be so that we can do a little maths at the end of the video which please check that my maths is correct because if you know me you know i'm it's not my strong suit so here's my haul of everything that i've picked up so far this year at campbell market starting off i found this at the start of the year it's this beautiful mini skirt that looks very vintage very retro it's a brand that i am very unfamiliar with called tarus paris and it says size three. So when I was looking at the market, I had no idea if it was gonna fit me because obviously it's outdoors, there's no change rooms. So that's kind of the gamble you have to have with markets is that you never know if it's really gonna fit you. But the neck trick works. You would have seen it, but if you haven't, you just put the waist of it around your neck and if it like fits perfectly around your neck, it should fit your waist. And I swear that trick has helped me every single time I go to the market. I actually don't even know what this material is. It almost looks like it's knitted felt on a mesh surface, but it is the most beautiful pattern. And when I tell you, it fits like a glove. It is the best fitting skirt I've ever had and it has no stretch to it. Because this was so long ago, I actually can't remember what I paid for it. I think it was five to ten dollars it was super cheap but let's go with uh, let's go with ten just to be safe kind of in the same sort of style this is a very flowy like hippie looking skirt that actually wraps around so of course it was going to fit me because you can literally like wrap it around as many times as you need this one has no brand and to be honest i wouldn't even know where to look to find where this is from but it was in a, one of the bins with most of the stalls in the market you will have things that are hung up which is sort of not the more expensive things but they're the nicer things and then anything that people just can't really be bothered displaying they'll put into bins and those are usually listed between like five and three dollars or even one dollar like it gets ridiculously cheap and i managed to swing this one for three dollars i haven't worn it yet because obviously it is winter in australia right now and i only bought this recently but i'm really excited to wear it not sure how i'm gonna style it because i've never owned a piece like this and it's kind of an awkward length for me i don't know it's like a little bit on the long side but i feel like i could roll it i did try it on the other day and i did realize that i like it when it's tied at the front but it's just it's such a great skirt it's so versatile in like the ways that you can style it but yes I love it. For the last of the skirts, I have this silk black midi skirt. I have been looking for that plain black skirt that just goes with everything for so long. I've got a knit one, but obviously that doesn't work in summer. I was kind of looking for a full length one. This is a mid length, which I'm sure we can work with. I'm sure we'll like in some sort of aspect. Haven't been able to style this one yet. Again, winter, it's too cold. This one is from the brand Silk Laundry. And I looked this up online. This goes for $250. I don't... <laughs> $250 for a dance skirt. I don't know if this girl got it also secondhand or if she just wanted to get rid of it, but she sold it to me for $10. I have a $250 skirt for $10. No wonder it's like such a nice material. It's obviously shibi bougie. I only have one pair of pants, which kind of makes sense because again, you can't try things on. So I feel like pants, especially jeans, are a little bit iffy. Although I must say the first time I ever went to Campbell Market, I got the best pair of jeans that literally I wore everywhere for $15. And again, fit me like a freaking glove. So you can get lucky or you could be dumb like me and get 
two sizes too big and just expect it to fit. These are a pair of Glasson jeans. They're just sort of like a straight mum fit. And I don't know why I thought they'd fit me. I don't know why I thought I was a size 12. I'm definitely between an eight and a 10 when it comes to Glasson's. I did try the like button loop whole sort of hack and they actually do look pretty good so i have worn them quite a bit also my housemate likes to steal these so i guess they were a win in the end someone's wearing them i got these for 15 dollars and glass and jeans tend to estimate around $60 and these were like practically brand new when I picked them up so this was a pretty good deal. On to accessories, I picked up this grey Zara beanie for two bucks. Literally just two bucks. If you shop at Zara you know that this would have been at least $30 brand new. It's just a beanie. There's nothing special about it but it was two dollars which I'm pretty sure is cheaper than if you were to buy it at Kmart. Then I got these sick sunnies. No idea where they're from. Probably I'm guessing with like prices of cotton on and gander they probably would have been around like 20 to 25 dollars but I got them for five dollars. Not only are they just like a great shape I like the tortoise pattern on the arms. Arms? Are these arms? Legs? <laughs> Am I making this shit up? What are these called? I like this design. <laughs> but they also have this really sick feature of like almost a little piercing on the actual sunglasses. I don't know, I just thought they were really sick. It's just like that extra little bit of jewelry that you just wouldn't expect. Lastly for accessories, my absolute favorite thing that I've gotten from the market are these little pearl earrings. This was from one of those stalls that wasn't secondhand, but it was sort of like a small business owner that makes these. So these were $20 and like a little bit more expensive for Camberwell market than like what you would pay to buy things secondhand. But I wear them all the time. They are like my go-to going out earrings and they are just like so dainty and so cute. And I've been looking for ones like this for a while and it's just like extra cool that it was made by someone who has like a small business. Coming back to clothing pieces, I found this cute, as baby tea, originally from Supre, and I don't even think it's been worn. It is literally in like pristine condition, which for a white top, you can tell if it's been worn. There is not a stain inside. Just has a cute little Los Angeles logo in green, and I just, I have nothing bad to say about this. It is just the perfect little tea. Looking at Supre prices, this would probably range between 20 to $30, which is ridiculous. And then at the same stall, I found this other little baby tee, which is this really nice blue color from Elite 11. And again, just like the most snug, flattering fit. I don't usually love baby tees, but I really want to love them. And these have made me come around to the idea. They're tight, but not too tight where you feel like you're just like stuck in like a sausage casing. That is the worst way I could have explained that. <laughs> But this feels so nice on. I couldn't find this exact top on the Elite 11 site, but similar things range from like $35 to $50. And all up, the two tops were $5. The next top I have is from the brand called East Street, which I haven't heard of before, but the quality is really nice. Like it's actually quite a thick, comfy t-shirt. Again, couldn't find this exact top. There was something similar that was like a baby tee in this color and like similar design but these range from 45 to 50 dollars and i got this one for 15. and again i swear this is brand new if not worn like two times if you want to see what these pieces look like on and how i style them make sure you head over to my instagram because i'm doing a whole series on reels as to how i'm styling my campbell market finds next up I don't know how to feel about this piece. This is probably the one and only Campbell marker piece that I have thrifted that I, I'm at a loss for ideas. It is this very cute, almost like greeny, turquoisey color, I guess. Cropped long sleeve. And what sold me on this top was the sleeves. Like it flares out, which is so fun and interesting. And it has this really nice trim of like this navy black color. So it's really cute, except it kind of hits me in a weird spot when I wear it. It's sort of like, it's not entirely under the boobs. So it's not like a bra type top, but it's not like a longer crop. So you definitely have to wear a high waisted pants but even then there's like too much skin showing for my liking. I don't know. 
I have pulled this out of my wardrobe so many times trying to figure out how to style this. So if you have any ideas, please let me know because this has been in my wardrobe for a while and I'm really lost for what I can do with this. This is from the brand Sly and I believe I bought this for, mm, I think $3. Next up, we have a very beloved piece of mine. I have worn this so many times. It is a Rollers jumpsuit, which I haven't owned a jumpsuit since 2016, 2017, when they were like really big. But the reason I got it is because it is backless. And I had been looking for a backless long sleeve for so long. And this one I bought for only $15. Again, couldn't find this on the roller site, but from what I could see with what else they sell, this would be around $60. Which I mean, like, the quality is really good, so it's probably worth it. But I'd rather pay $15. Moving on to jumpers and jackets. I picked up what looks like a vintage country road jumper made in Australia and with pure wool. So this thing is heavy. It is such a great length and sort of tapers in at the waist. So it gives you a really nice fit. And I got this, you will not believe. You actually, you are not ready for this. You will not believe. Put down in the comments what you think I got this for. Keeping in mind, the brand is country road. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. I got it for three dollars. Three dollars. This is probably one of the best finds I've ever had. I must say, I unintentionally left the best for last. That jumper and the last two pieces are just... I don't know how, I don't know why, but I managed to snag this jacket for $25. This is from the brand Spencer Project, which if you know is sold at General Pants, one of my favorite stores. It's this green color with a nude corduroy fabric on the collar and then like this flannel material on the inside, which keeps you so warm and has a zip up at the front and of course pockets. The girl who sold it to me said that she hardly ever wore it and I honestly believe her because it is in such great condition. And I couldn't believe when I walked into General Pants a week after I bought this and saw it still in store. Like you can still get it in store and online today. This goes for $150. I don't know if it was like an ex-boyfriend's of hers or she just didn't care about losing, I'm not gonna do the maths, $125. But this being originally 150 and I only paid 25 and it is a great quality jacket. One of the best finds I've ever had. I have saved the best for last. I cannot stress to you how much I had been wanting a jacket like this, how much I've looked for a jacket like this, but not wanted to spend too much money. Just the other week, I managed to find this 90s style leather jacket. I cannot find the tag where it says what materials it's made out of, so it could or could not be real leather. It is, again, pristine condition. I saw this in a very small stall that was run by two guys, and this was hanging at the front. By the time I saw it and took two steps, mind you, I was probably three or four steps away from this, someone put their hand on it, and I was like, no. <laughs> I was so upset, I was like, don't take it, don't take it, don't take it. But she was holding onto it for a good like three minutes. I ended up walking to another store nearby so that I wasn't that person who was like hovering over them, waiting for them to walk away from it. And also like, I kind of didn't want them to know that I wanted it so badly, therefore making them want it more, if you know what I mean. Anyway, she walked away from it and again, I walked up to it, managed to grab it, and by the time I grabbed it, someone else also had their hand on it. Like, a lot of people were looking at this one. At that point, I was like, I'm getting this jacket no matter what. And I think she could kind of tell that because she sort of backed away. But I grabbed it, tried it on, it fits so nicely. It's a little bit oversized, like a little bit more oversized than I would want, but it's a size small, so I feel like you can't really get that much more lucky with it being secondhand. But I ended up picking this up for $25. All up for 13 items, I paid a total of $153 for 13 items. That is just under $12 per item. Whereas the estimated retail price for everything is $1,107. That is an insane amount of savings. Well, that is my entire Campbell Market thrift haul. If you like this video, please let me know. And I mean, I'm obsessed with the market, so I will no doubt have another haul by the end of the year, if you wanna see that. So make sure you let me know. Like, subscribe, do all the good things. I have a lot of things to hang up, so that's it. Mm -hmm.